Now, the Nigerian equities market is gaining some momentum as investors continue to buy the dip. Okoluwa Uluwa, a research analyst at Kodra Securities, joins me for a market update. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today, Okoluwa. Thank you very much for now. Understand. Let's start off really now with the bearish, uh, the bullish sentiments we are seeing in the market. It was quite a tussle, and now we have the the market closing positive. It's it's good news, really. Let's have some update as to what played out from the start of this week up until now against the bearish sentiments which were earlier recorded. Okay. Yeah. Thank you once again for um, having me in today. Um, so, uh, like rightly alluded to, um, equities market as you know more directions um since the start of the um trading week um saw you know the markets put out negative opportunities and um yes and to this session we've seen um a request of um, this um performance so um basically i mean those sites drive the uh, you know overarching drivers for the market right now uh you know so, um, sell off guys as continue to um exit the Nigerian domestic space amid um, election jitters. And then we also uh, witnessed also some sell offs for you know, domestic um, investors. And this um, sell off, you know, both the um, foreign player and domestic players uh, were uh, most evident in um, Ethel, um, Zenith Bank, and also Anbic. So, um, in terms of you know the retreats that we saw in the market yesterday and you know, the marginal gain that uh, the market recorded today, um, I mean, besides you know, um, that um, UBA, UBA uh, considering, you know, um, stellar performance that UBA yeah. put out uh, about um, 3.4, um, access of um, 2.3%. Then, I mean, yesterday and even um, some days of bearish trading for um, some positioning in um, for some programmable names, um, like Nigerian breweries, um, flour mill, PZ Unilever, and even some banks. Um, like Fidelity Bank, Union Bank, um, also um, in addition to the mm. yeah. Okay, now let's also talk about the uh, overall volume and value of transactions as well. And looking at today's figures as well, the all share index, the closing figures. Um, I mean, uh, in terms of uh, the drivers of you know, the uh, increasing volume and value today, I mean, the big, the big driver here is yeah, so um, um, most likely the. You know, um, the nice performance that's coming out and um, the, uh, um, you know, the um, potential of, or rather the fact that there's an interim dividend that's to be paid out um, of around um, 0 0.3 um, Naira, which is the uh, interim day of it um, last year, 2020. I've uh, seen a um, significant volume of and I mean, just today, in, in just today, it's uh, so about 50 million um, in terms of volume traded for it. UBA has been and a big driver for uh, you know, this um, number. Okay, now, and uh, as we're also playing pundit here and looking at where investors ought to put their money, uh, we are not expecting any new plot twists, really. Looking at consumer goods, the banking stocks, oil and gas insurance, nothing new is expected to tilt the balance apart from these uh, earnings seasons and financials come into play, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, um, like, like I've always maintained, right, in terms of from, uh, um, with you guys, the key thing is uh, right now, the working thing in the market is uh, one of um, bearish sentiment. And um, mostly everything has, you know, everything in the market, but performance has basically, you know, been or has surrounded the intertwining impact of uh, big elevation in the market and um, increasing on as we gravitate towards the 20th um election cycle and i mean you also cite um the fact that the um, domestic uh, macro um story still remains at a very um weak i mean all these factors are put in, you know in the um the level of performance that we would like to um, i would like to see um in the domestic efforts Yes, so wrapping up our conversation now, let's also look at how electionarian activities will begin to tilt the balance and uh, the pendulum swing that would we'll witness at the NGX. Let's talk about that, how the stocks are likely going to fare, especially with this air of uncertainty and investors sitting on the fence. Really, we have seen improved participation of local players, but they're also a little bit jittered. Yeah, I mean, um, there are a lot of you know, factors on that side, and even um, you know, 
um, a lot of the factors that we've also, you know, make hypothesis from and say, um, it's like factors that are uh, um, markets, uh, especially considering, you know, the election cycle that we are currently entering. So, uh, but the big thing now is that compared to, you know, uh, the two previous elections, 2014 and 2018, uh, market dynamics has changed. So in those two previous years, we saw the FBI sell off the signature of the FBI who drove markets down to um, significant level, uh, significant um, levels in the red territory, basically. Right. But I mean, this year we've seen, uh, uh, you know, domestic investors take, like you rightly alluded, or dominance of the domestic market. I mean, that kind of sell off I'm sorry, from FBI's um, 2014 and 2018 uh, will be, uh, will not have as much impact as um, it would have had if the you know, FBI's were still uh, dominant players in the Nigerian market. And I mean, um, for Nigerian or domestic investors, I mean, most, most, what most, we most mostly expect is that, you know, domestic investors are most likely maintain a old stance, basically, as they continue to, you know, engage and look for opportunities where, you know, they can pack um, some of those, you know, basically. And um, I mean, in, in as much as we think that there's a big risk of um, the market, you know, reacting negatively, election, um, election and activities. Um, I mean, we still believe that, you know, uh, most of the gains that the market book first half of 2020 and, uh, you know, possible possible um, significant movements in um, the big players on the Nigerian exchange. Um, I mean, the combination of the factors ensure that in, um, the markets will still prove positive territory mm. at the end of our Yeah. And investors definitely are looking for stability. That's also what is playing right now as we look at the uh, volume of investment between the Treasury bills and bond market, as well as that of the equities market. Thank you once again for your time on the show today, Okpeolua. Thank you very much. And